So I'm going to go through um, some paper four questions on a number of different topics. This is going to be the first video in the series and basically we're going to look at questions that cover the IGCSE Cambridge 0580 paper four and the IGCSE Cambridge 0607 paper four. So obviously these overlap a lot with the other GCSE and IGCSE maths papers but these are all taken from from these two particular papers. Okay so um, it's worth just knowing this is the 0580. Um, you can pause this video uh, just to have a have a look through all the, these are the different topics that are likely to come up on a paper four. If they're highlighted uh, green, they're very likely uh, orange. They kind of come up often. And I'll go through. I'll make a video on most of these topics. Equally, if you're doing 0607. It's pretty similar really, you just need to be able to use your graphics calculator a bit more um, and you have logs and indices, uh, functions is a little bit different uh, but by and large the, the topics are pretty similar. Okay, so again, I'll, I'll go through most of these topics in, in the coming videos. So, um, first topic to look at is the essential number skills. Um, these are pretty predictable, they come up uh, every single paper. Um, and they're going to test basically ratios, percentages, things like that. Here's the first question. Um, so we've basically got uh, a ratio question. Uh, ratio of cost to biscuits and cost to water is 3 to 2. We've been told what the water is. Find the cost of the biscuits. Okay, pretty straightforward ratio question. So here we go. Um, just write down your ratio. That's uh, biscuits to water. We know that the water costs £2.60 or $2.60. So how do we get from 2 to 260 times by 1.3, therefore we times the other side by 1.3, therefore it's $3.90. Okay. Um, the next one, um, you've got $9 to spend, uh, total amount that spends on water and biscuits as a fraction of the $9. So we know that the, we spent $2.60 on the water, now on the biscuits we spent $3.90, so the total amount that she spent was six dollars fifty as a fraction of nine dollars therefore six point five over nine uh, we want to make it into a whole number fraction so thirteen over eighteen okay uh, next one so now we get on to the percentage sort of questions so the nine dollars is sixty two point five percent less than she spent last week now as soon as you see last week then you should be seeing uh, or thinking reverse percentage, so we'll keep that in mind. Reduce by 62.5%. We start with 100%, take away 62.5%, and in effect, therefore, we end up with 37.5%. So we start with 100%, take away that 62.5%. Uh, this is what's left. It's reverse percentage, so the initial amount that we don't know, it's, it's been reduced by 62.5% and the new price was $9. Therefore, reverse percentage do 9 divided by 0 0.375. We're going to get 24. Okay, next one. Um, uh, buy a bicycle for $250, decrease by 8% every single year. Well, again, we start with 8%. We start with 100%, take away 8%. So what's going to be left? Well, 92%. So we're going to times by 0 0.92. It's compounding. So every single year, um, we're, we're, we're reducing it by another 8%. We're starting with 250. So this is my calculation. So I do 250 times by 0 0.92 to the power of 10. Stick that on your calculator. Round it to the nearest dollar. So don't throw away the last mark and that's going to be $109. Okay, next one. Uh, DVD uh, costs $2.75, uh, selling price is $8.20, percentage profit. Okay, percentage profit, we look at the difference divided by the original times by 100%. Now, the difference in this case, well, 8.2 take away 2.75, that's the difference. The original, the amount that it actually cost us was 2.75, so 
So we stick that onto our calculator and we're going to get 198. Now you might be thinking that's a bit strange, why can we get a percentage greater than 100%? When we're talking about percentage profit, okay, it does make sense, it just means it's more than double the initial price. So 198% is the percentage profit. Okay, next one. Um, uh, we buy some paint for $17.16, we sell it at a profit of 25%, so how much do we sell each paint can for? Well, we're just increasing it by 25%, we're starting with 100%, increase it by 25%, so we've got 125%, so there we go, 17.16 times by 1.25, 21.45. Okay, now this one's uh, from the 0607 paper. Um, they like this question in that exam. They don't ask it as often in 0580, but they definitely could do. So let's see how we could do this one. We buy a car for $23,000, reduce by 8% each year. Okay, so as before, we start with 100%, take away 8%. We're down to 92%. And this is the calculation that we're doing. So I uh, missed an extra zero on there somewhere. There we go, uh, 23,000, and we're reducing it by 8%. And we basically want to find out what value of N goes here, how many years, until we get less than 11,500. Okay, there are a few ways to do this. If you're doing the 0607, you could actually use logs, you could potentially use your calculator. But let's just see um, yeah, a pretty straightforward way. It is basically just trial and error, just stick some numbers in. For example, if, again, let's just make that look better. Let's stick an extra zero on there. Um, so after eight years, 23,000 times by 0 0.82 to the power eight gives us 11. Again, we're missing, let's stick an extra zero on that one. And on that one, there we go. That looks a bit better. Um, so here we go. So 23,000 times by 0 0.92 to the power 8 gives us 11,800. Well, that's not below 11,500. And then when there's 9 years, we do 23,000 times by 0 0.92 to the power 9. And that gives us uh, 10,850. Well, there we go. It's, it's fallen below 11,500. And it says the number of complete years. Well, after eight years, it was above. So therefore, it took nine complete years in order to, to follow below, fall below 11,500. But you've got to read the question carefully on this one. Um, but this one is the number of complete years. So it would be nine years. OK, and then let's, the very last question. Let's look at a speed distance time question. Um, these can be tricky. Um, it depends on the question really. Here we go. The distance from Perth to Edinburgh is 65 kilometres. The train travels at the average speed 48.75 kilometres per hour. Yeah, we've got kilometres and kilometres per hour. We don't need to do anything with the units. Find the time taken uh, from Perth to Edinburgh. Um, okay, so whenever you've got a, a speed distance time question, just write out, here we go, speed equals distance over time. And if you want to rearrange that, we've got time equals distance over speed. Well, I want the time taken, so I'm going to use this formula here. Well, I know that the distance is 65. I know that the time, sorry, the speed is 48.75. As the, the units, are, they're all fine at the moment. So 65 kilometers over 48.75 kilometers per hour. So if I just do that on my calculator, I get four thirds, four thirds hours. Um, but it says give your answer in hours and minutes. So in basically four thirds hours is basically one full hour and one third of 60 minutes. So therefore it's one hour and 20 minutes. Okay, so there we go. Just a few quick questions all to do with numbers.